Hey everyone, this is David, aka Frosty Tricks, and I'm here to bring you two tutorials in one video today. First tutorial is how to make your clips look more of a film look, make it look more professional. Basically, you just edit the coloring, overlay videos, and I'm about to show you how to do that right now. So, what you're gonna do is you find your clip that you want, drag it to your timeline. There you go, right there. Alright, see it's. Alright, I got my clip on here. Don't render if you have to render, but just you're just gonna waste your time because you're gonna be editing it anyway. So, alright, what you want to be looking for is color corrector three way. I have it in my favorites, but it should be located in video filters, color correction. Then you go color three color corrector three way click hold drag onto your clip and then what you want to do is leave your arrow on the clip you want to hold down shift key alt option key and left click hold and drag it up so you see that and then you just let go of your left uh, the left click and then it should have two of them two of the same clips above each other. And now, what you want to do is double click your top clip. And on the top here, it should have the color corrector three way. No. You want to um, click on that, and it should have these three right here. And what you want to do first for the top clip, you want to take the saturation and put it all the way down until your clip is black and white. And then you go to the top clip again, you right click, go all the way to composite mode, which is un under speed, and you go all the way to overlay. You want to click overlay. Then it should make it look like this. It makes it look more darker and more, I don't know, how can you say professional. But we're not done yet. So you double click the bottom clip now. And now, if it's too dark for you, which some clips are going to be, you know, you have to edit each clip depending on the lighting on where you're at and everything. So like right here, I'd want to bring uh, blacks. I want to bring that up a little bit to make it a little bit brighter right there. And if you want, you can go ahead and mess with colors. You can make it to like a bluish, make it look fluorescent. but. I prefer to do it my way, so I'll put that back. Just letting you know you can do all that. But this is what I do. I take the saturation and I put it down like right, right there. And then it, it gives it like a black and white and a color at the same time to it. So it looks pretty cool. And now what you want to do after that is render your clip. Go sequence, render all, both. And this is gonna take a while. It's gonna take longer because your video is one, if it's in HD, it's obviously gonna take a lot longer. And the more effects you use, basically I'm rendering two clips at the same time. So, all right, I got it all rendered now. And now I'm gonna play the original full screen for you and then I'm gonna play the uh, the edited one so here we go okay did you see the difference it looks a lot better all right well that's it for that tutorial and now say like if you edit just got done editing your video and you want to export it into 1080p HD which is perfect for YouTube because you know how YouTube's quality is kind of eh. But yeah anyway all right to export it you want to go to file you want to go all the way down to export not QuickTime movie you want to use using QuickTime conversion you want to click on that 
And then here, let's name this clip uh, Skate Fail. All right, you wanna go to Options. And then first is Settings. All right, Keyframes. Frames, you wanna set that, see how it's 24? You wanna set it to 30. And you wanna restrict to, click on restrict to, and then put 4,000. And then click okay. Now you wanna go to size. All right, go compressor. You want to put it on 1920 times 1080 HD. Click on de-interlace source video, because most cameras use that, and click OK. Now you want to do the sound settings. You see it format, it's on linear. You want to go to AAC. Now you want to go to quality at best, and then OK. Prepare for internet streaming. Take that off. You don't. Not, you do not need that. And click OK. And then click Save, and you should be all set. It's gonna take a while to export because it's in HD 1080p. So it's a big file, so it's gonna take longer than usual. So um, yeah, I hope this tutorial helped you, and I hope you learned enough. <laughs> hope it wasn't too bad but it's my first tutorial so I'm not gonna save it because I don't need to but yeah you'd click save and then voila that's it that's it for today's tutorial